Welcome to the Soulful Sound Podcast, where you will find conscious, inspiring content to support your healing and transformation. Now, before we jump into today's episode, I want to extend a heartfelt invitation for you to be part of our community, where more insightful conversations await to guide you to heal, grow, and thrive. Simply click the subscribe button. It means the world to me. Your support, your comments, everything is truly incredible and we're only at the beginning of this awesome journey together. I'm so excited to be on this adventure with you and your subscription is a valuable part of making it all happen. Thank you so much for joining, sending you love, healing and sound wherever you are. Hello everyone, welcome to the Soulful Sound Podcast. Well, solo episodes are back. I'm super excited to bring them back. I've had a few of my regular and longtime listeners and viewers ask me, where are the coaching episodes that you used to do? Well, they're back this year and I'm excited to jump straight in to today where we're going to look at the fascinating realm of emotions. And at the end of this episode, I'm going to offer you a practice that will help you use your voice to connect with and release emotions. So do make sure to stick around till the end for that. Now, when I speak about emotions, I'm essentially talking about energy in motion, emotion. It's the energy that's coursing through us, creating various sensations and feelings within our bodies. And this is what we often refer to as being charged with an emotion, this emotional charge that we're feeling in those moments. But if what if we were to view emotions not as inherently positive or negative, but rather as neutral energies? Emotions for me are like spotlights that are shining a light on different aspects of our inner landscape that require some sort of our attention. Now consider this, joy and anger are not inherently positive or negative emotions. Instead, they are simply different charges of energy flowing through us, each serving a purpose in our lives. Joy, for example, may signify moments where there's alignment with our authentic selves or the fulfillment of our desires, while anger may serve as a catalyst for change or setting healthy boundaries in our lives. The key is to recognize that all emotions are valid and offer valuable insights into our inner world. Now, let's explore how we can then give a voice to our emotions. So I am deeply passionate, as some of you know already, about the transformational power of the voice. Do you feel called to use your voice and sound in a healing capacity? Learn how to use your voice therapeutically to facilitate healing and well-being. Whether you want to go deeper in your own healing journey or facilitate others in theirs, this training is for you. This online training runs over five weekends and offers theory, practice, resources, and support on your path to becoming a qualified sound healer and for your personal healing journey. Our voice for me is a remarkable tool that allows us to connect with the energy flowing through us. And then that lets us express in a healthy way, in a way that's productive and in a healing manner for us and those around us. Consider the nuances of the voice when different emotions arise. When someone is angry, for example, you may notice changes in their tone or their pitch and even their physical tension. You might see that their jaw wants to be tighter or their body. On the other hand, excitement may manifest as a completely quicker pace and you're really excited and the pitch goes up and I can't wait to share this exciting news with you. And so these vocal changes are not learned behaviors, but rather innate responses to the energy moving through us at any given time. No one says to you when you're a child, now make sure to speed up and change the pitch when you're excited or when you're speaking about something, you know, no one tells us this when we're, when we're young or when you're feeling sad, just slow down and lower the pitch, just soften the tone. Now, while there 
are undoubtedly commonalities in sonic emotional expression. There is no one size fits all approach. All of our vocal nuances are unique, reflecting our personal experience, our cultural experience, and our influences in general. Therefore, it's really invaluable to spend time observing both your own vocal emotional nuances as an example and those of others, because by honing this awareness, we then deepen our understanding of the dance, as I like to call it, between the emotions and the voice. And this then fosters greater empathy, connection and authenticity in all of our interactions across many contexts. Now let's take it a step further. Amidst these vocal nuances lies a deeper layer of significance, the frequency embedded with intention. Have you ever noticed the subtle yet profound difference between someone expressing something in an, ang in an angry way and that intention is to hurt versus the intention to heal? The frequency of their voice carries the imprint of their underlying intention, whether it is to lash out in pain or to seek resolution and understanding. So for me, this is really beautiful because it underscores the importance of cultivating awareness, not only of our own vocal expressions, but also the intentions that underlie them, those things that we want to embed into the way we express ourselves. Now, the truth here is that you cannot, and I'll repeat that, cannot take responsibility for someone else's intentions, or maybe must not is a better way, while they're expressing their emotions, right? So you can only take responsibility for yours. What intentions can you embed in your own sonic expression, whether that is quietly to yourself as you come to terms perhaps in the moment with how you're feeling or when you're interacting with others. Now, my personal preference is love in all contexts. Be loving with yourself in your emotional expression. Be compassionate. Be loving towards others when they're expressing themselves to you emotionally. So the question may arise, well, how can I express love and anger at the same time, Simone? Well, that's a really good question. So let's get clear on that. The first thing I want to say here is that I'm not suggesting in any way, shape or form that you bypass an emotion, quite the opposite. Get to know it and understand its presence in that moment. What is it there to serve? What is it there to spotlight? What I am referring to, though, is the intention you want to embed in the expression of the emotion, not the emotion itself. For example, I can express anger about something with, I don't know, with the intention to heal and resolve a situation or change something for the better. I can tell someone uh, that I'm feeling angry about something and still love them anyway. So I believe, and I've said this many times in my work, that the voice truly is the doorway to the soul, offering a direct expression of our innermost feelings and experiences. By giving voice to our emotions, we can harness the energy within us to bring about healing and transformation. Ha! Huh, who knew? And again, to use the energy for what it's there to do in the first place, offer us information to spotlight something we might need to address. And when we recognize the power of our own voice, we can learn how to use it as a way to release emotions, to heighten them even, and invite different energetic states into being. So how can we bring our emotions and our voice into harmony? It begins with mindful awareness of our emotional landscape and the corresponding vocal expressions that we uniquely have. When we notice shifts in our emotions, we can use our voice as a tool for release, for expression and for transformation. So, for example, if anger arises, we can consciously pause 
take a breath and soften our tone and release tension in the body through vocalization. Similarly, when we're experiencing joy or gratitude, we can allow our voice to soar with enthusiasm and appreciation. We have a choice to stay in the emotional charge and react or respond from that place or take charge of the emotion by allowing the energy to move through us and not get stuck. By bridging the gap between our emotions and voice, we also empower ourselves to navigate life's ups and downs, which surely will always be there. But with greater ease and grace, we become active participants in our emotional journey rather than passive and or maybe even rather than just being taken on this emotional roller coaster. We can do this using the power of our voice and sound to illuminate our path forward. So in essence, emotions are not to be feared, suppressed, or bypassed, but instead embraced as an integral part of our human experience. And through the art of vocal expression, I like to call it, we can honor our emotions, harness their energy and journey then towards greater self-awareness and well-being. Who doesn't want that? I do. So it's really important that we continue to explore this profound connection between emotions and the voice, really embracing the transformational potential that lies within it. Now, to wrap up, I did say I wanted to offer you a simple practice to help you begin to give a voice to your emotions as a first step and vocally release the charge around it. Now, before I jump in, let me do a little bit of housekeeping. This practice is best done when you can spend maybe a few minutes, it might take just about three minutes, but a few conscious moments with it. So if you're driving, you're listening to this podcast at work, or you're doing something that you can be easily distracted at the moment, you may wish to revisit at a time that suits better. Do know that it will only take about three minutes of your time and that you can easily find the timestamps below, whether you're listening to this in audio or watching watching this on YouTube, you'll find it when you're ready. So this practice will happen in three steps. Step one is to notice the emotion you're feeling in the moment. Step two is to give it a voice or sound. And step three is to sound it out with intention. It really is a simple three-step exercise and practice. So I'm going to invite you now to take a moment to check in with yourself. Place your hand on your heart if it feels right to do so. And just allow yourself to relax in this moment and take a breath in and out. Notice how you're feeling. What is the emotion that wants to arise in this moment? It might be joy, gratitude, anger, sadness. You can name it whatever it feels right for you. Just take a moment and connect in. And when you're ready, I'm going to invite you to voice that emotion, give it a sound. That might be an ooh, an ah, that might be, you know, a grunt or a hiss. It doesn't really matter. Whatever sound feels right for you in this moment. And now we are going to sound it out with intention. If this is uh, an emotion that feels good in the body and you want to heighten it, it's very different to wanting to release it. So we're gonna work on wanting to let that out into the world, let that sound of that emotional charge be expressed into the world now and into the world meaning out of you into the space not necessarily for someone else just take a moment now and allow that sound to come forth wonderful now just notice how you're feeling in this moment that you took a moment to consciously connect in with yourself 
consciously create a sound to, to match that emotion in this moment and then setting an intention, perhaps loving intention, to release it as you let that, in, that emotional charge out. Notice how it felt to invite your voice into the space. Just taking a moment to notice. Now this exercise is something that you can repeat as many times as you wish. Three simple steps that can help you connect your voice to your emotions and help you begin that journey of releasing it out into the world. So I want to say thank you so much for joining me for this first solo episode back with you here on the Soulful Sound Podcast. I'm so grateful for your presence. If you've enjoyed this episode, please like it, comment, and make sure to subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Drop some comments below and let us know some of your biggest takeaways. All right. Sending you all love. Take care now. Thanks so much for tuning in. Your support, your comments, and everything is truly incredible. And we're only at the beginning of this awesome journey together. If you love this episode, hit that like and subscribe button and make sure to check out our other episodes. Thanks so much for being with us today. Sending you love, healing, and sound wherever you are.